Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to show you my favorite martial art weapons. Uh, these are in no particular order, but uh, these are just the ones that I like, and I'll explain why that I like them. And yeah, here we go. Okay, so the first weapon that I'm going to show you will actually be the machete. Now this is obviously a modern day machete, but such is life. Um, obviously machetes were used, you know, to cut through like shrubbery whenever they were going through forests and stuff, but uh, they would also use them to, you know, it's just, it's another type of sword too, so you can stab, slash, and stuff like that. And um, honestly, out of the ones that I have here, it's probably my least favorite, solely for the purpose that it's just a machete, I mean. It's not as cool as like the ones I'm going to show you next. So this is the machete. This is one they would use. The next weapon that I'm going to show you is the commas. Commas, you can use them. You can hook a chain on the bottom of them and swing them around, or you can use them in your hands and slide. Now the only downfall to the commas is that unless you're very skilled with them, you can't really block. Can only attack and uh, obviously these ones are not fully functional meaning that you can't use actually use them in a fight they do hurt they hit you I've been hit a couple times practicing with them but these are uh, still and you can use one to attack but I mean why not use two right so you can attack with them, do all the seven strikes and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, these are uh, these are the commas. Next one, next pair of weapons that I'm going to show you. These I heard people call them nightsticks. Um, I call them tonfas. That's what these are used for. And I really like these because you can you can you can block with them, strike perform with them, do stuff like that, punch, uppercut, uppercut. I also like these because you can use them like this too to strike and you can hold them right here and strike with them. Um, with these, I prefer to use one. If I was in an altercation, I prefer to use one because you can also do different types of uh, wrist locks with them too where um, if a person grabs onto your shirt, flip it up, grab, and then bring them to the ground and you can grab and hold while you do this also with these uh, you can do elbow strikes with them too so these are the these are the tonfas this is honestly probably my most favorite one actually I carry one of these in my car with me whenever I'm going to town or just driving around I always have one in my car one of the more popular ones that you'll see martial artists use is the bow staff. And the reason why I like the bow staff a lot is because, one of the big reasons why is because, let's say that you're using it and someone comes up and slices it in half, well then, you got two. So I'm gonna screw this in and talk to you guys about the bow staff. Now, the bow staff you'll see a lot more of in movies and in like big performances is probably one of the most popular of the group of martial arts weapons and one of the reasons is probably because it's honestly the easiest to learn this is actually the first weapon that I learned whenever I was taking up weaponry in uh, Taekwondo but uh, this is probably one of the most popular weapons in that sense um, Obviously, like I said, like I said before, and the other ones, this is not how martial artists, uh, their bow staff would look. This is actually a performance bow staff, and um, it's actually kind of big. That's how I like my weapons. I like them big and brolicky because I don't know, I'm just that kind of guy. Um, but this is one of the most popular weapons that you'll see a martial artist use. Now, oh, and the downfall. To this is that I that I know of anyway 
is it's more of a long range weapon. It's meant to really keep guys back. It's not meant to go in for the kill or really for a knockout. It's mainly just to keep them back. Um, if somebody were to shoot in, you can't really strike with this. You'll have to use your hands and feet and knees and elbows and stuff. But I mean, the only thing that I know that you can do is you can bring, you can scoot it down a little bit, bring this side up and pop them up in the, in the jaw and stuff. This is more of a long range weapon to keep them back. Now, probably the most popular out of all of the martial arts weapons is the katana. Now the katana you see more times than not for martial art, for martial arts movie and stuff like that. Um, the katana was the main weapon that they would use. It's light, it's very uh, sleek and slim, and uh, it's really easy to transport. You'll see them, you'll see a lot of the times they'll keep them like on their backs or on their hips. And there's a reason for that because if they were on their hip, they could just come up and slice you right there. The katana was very sharp, and even though it was skinny and small, it was very, very strong. This is not a fully functional katana. Um, I don't currently own one. I'm actually looking to buy one later on down the road. But um, the katana was very strong. It was very, very sharp. In fact, they even said, from what I've heard of stories and stuff like that, um, the katana, like the original katanas, they could you could hold up a piece of paper and just go like that. The paper would be cut right in half. It was super, super strong, super sharp. I mean, the only, and it's a really, really good weapon to have. Obviously, you're not going to walk around with a katana on your back or on your side. I mean, you can if you want. They're not illegal. Um, so, yeah, go for it if you want. I personally would not. But uh, the only downside to katanas that I know of is, once again, they're more of a long-range type of weapon. Um, the only thing that I could tell you about them is, uh, from what I know, you can't do as many... Uh, if you're looking for performance-wise, you can't do as many tricks to them. And, uh, like I said, they're more of a long-range weapon. If you if the person shoots in on you, you can bring it in right here, but it's not as going to be as powerful as a, of a swing as if they were about an arm's length away from you. So, anyway, guys, that's uh, all my weapons that I got. And, uh, yeah, keep it real, guys.